Yeah. Because I'm, I'm trying to look closely here, and I'm like, I see the crazy damage, and I'm like, wait, how can that happen if it's not an ability effect? What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with a brand new video for Summoner's War. Today, we're going to do something we have not done in a very long time. We're going to give some love to one of our subscribers, OBS, who you guys might have seen on Twitch a couple of times. He's actually one of our subscribers that allows us to do summons. Now, um, one of the things that he got that I haven't seen uh, in a while here, uh, I took a look at his account, man, and he has, I think, literally every single twin with the exception of one light I think it was what boomerang war and then he doesn't have the dark shark dancer he has everything else and uh one of the units that i still haven't really seen a lot of videos out there uh to this day um is uh, videos on diva and we've seen a couple on martina but i haven't seen diva and martina together so we're going to be doing uh some arena we're going to see if we can get three wins with these two twins and then we'll uh we'll also do it just a quick run in db10 just to kind of see uh how, how it goes and what kind of teams he's like got set up with that uh he got some running on the rage uh blade set here so he's trying to go for max damage why is that because it is passive right here golden opportunity uh looks like it has a, a chance of ignore the defense 25 percent chance to ignore defense when you're attacking an enemy under inability effects right so uh, if you pair it up with something that could stun early on um it's going to be it's going to provide that chance to do it and of course if it pulls a boy it's going to be if you have a boomerang warrior in your team you're going to be able to pull it and also have that chance on that unit to do 25 percent you know 25 percent chance to do the ignore defense out of all the attack bar boosters that we're looking at we got frigate uh that's going to be super fast and we also have bestet uh we'll probably test out both of them here uh, my thought process is we'll probably he's probably using frigate first because the 50 percent uh, attack bar increase is going to be nice and when you think about the current speed that he has on it how he's using versus, versus his attack bar booster i'm guessing that he runs that one as well so that'll be pretty interesting to see if we can get like two to three wins i'd be pretty down with that um but yeah we'll have to see what goes on here now this is the team apparently that he runs right now um obviously we know that it, it works whatever here but let's go ahead and take out uh, one of his boomerang warriors and let's go ahead and give diva some love now diva obviously does not make sense when it comes to uh db10 because we're not going to be able to get any uh value out of that ignore defense mechanic on the boss right why is that because we cannot stun the boss therefore we can uh pull in that 25 percent chance to pull it that being said it's an extra set of aoe defense breaks so it could potentially help out the speed of the run here we'll have to wait and see though now for some of you guys that may uh may have not seen a previous video that i made uh, or maybe i think it was about like two months ago or so i made the switch to the twins and uh, if you do happen to get the twins um i do want to give uh i just want to you know put it out there um i i it, it's like the twins felt for me like uh uh like in in, in like speed runs or whatnot it felt for me like uh like getting farad dead in tier hard it it literally changed everything and uh, this is uh, f uh, coming from a player that doesn't even have them skilled up here. So if you're one of those people that currently run like a speed DB10 run or whatever, and you're like, okay, well, now I got to build the twins and I want to go ahead and set it up. And uh, but I don't have the money like you're, you're going to get the money back real quick okay definitely take the time to do it and even if you don't have all the violent sets that you're looking for you can still get away with some broken sets even with sets that he's running he's running like a rage play set i think he has a fatal on another one and uh, honestly uh you still will get the job done just just for the simple mechanic that it provides um let's go ahead and get into the arena uh now we're gonna do this nice and fresh here we'll refresh the list try to get a new list and see what we could do we're just gonna go can we go down the list let's let's start at the top and work our way down okay uh oh we're in trouble <laughs> we're in trouble tell me this guy doesn't have a swift set on that amelia right maybe 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 we're gonna be oh look at that here he has a team set okay so here's the funny thing about this one lots of sustain defense break i mean we we have to get the first turn he cannot have he cannot have will otherwise we're in trouble right but hold on a minute wait a minute okay we're running two chakram dancers right we're running two chakram dancers um, with Martina and again Martina's uh, passive uh, be, uh, steals the beneficial effects so he has basically a built-in stripper right uh, with this AoE skill we can AoE uh, defense break we have the potential to stun and we also can strip it if he has will but again we have to get the first turn so the, the question is will we get cut in between that Amelia if we don't then uh, it's pretty much GG right but hey I'm feeling pretty confident right now 
<laughs> I think and I, we'll worry about the ignore defense a little bit later. Let's just try to get the first turn, okay? Oh, oh my god. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to get the first turn. Now, again, according to this, we should be able to strip the will, right? Strip the will, apply a defense break? Let's take a look. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we did strip the will on one, right? It did work, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get everybody else. So let's just try to, I mean, let's just see what kind of here. Let's turn this down a little bit. Let's see what kind of damage the Diva does here. Okay. I see 16k, so we did proc one ignore defense, right? Um, but unfortunately, we did not uh, we did not take him out here. Now, I'm gonna switch targets. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for Ciara. We're trying to pummel down Ciara, and then we'll go ahead and stun with Frigate if we can. Uh, let's go ahead and stun with Frigate. See if we can control these two uh, units here. Unfortunately, uh, the Amelia is probably gonna switch through. I think we can go ahead and turn this off right now. We're not gonna see any. Uh, crazy damage, but uh, who do we work on, right? Who do we work on? I, th I think, oh wait, do we work on that one or do we work on Amelia? They're both kind of, well, maybe maybe Amelia is a little bit squishier, right? Well, shoot, we got the fire. Whatever, let's just go for her. Let oh yeah, keep on violent procking. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Stop it already. Hold on a minute, wait. Put the defense break on him. Who do we put it on? Oh, let's just put it, let's just take it on her. All right, take this one out. Can we get a, oh, we got a 25%. Oh my God, okay. So please, for the love of God, let's pull, let's pull, uh, let's pull Diva, and if we get the ignore defense with Diva, we can knock out that thing egg right now. Come on! Oh, I think I think there was one. I think there was one. I think one ignore defense was able to get the job done. I have to run that back here to see if we if we can figure that out. But I can't believe it. Honestly, I <laughs> I thought the first twenty eight k, dude. I thought the first one was was gonna be like it was we were gonna get waxed on this one it was just too much to stay in here but that's that's what i'm talking about now oh uh, here this this is a bad scenario right now this is this is definitely a bad scenario now i was looking to bring up a step but we can't bring up a step just yet because because there's a very very good chance that that chloe is gonna go first right so maybe just maybe even if we can't get the first turn or sorry maybe if we can't get if we can't outspeed that chloe Maybe we can uh, just focus down the Valkyrie um, and and potentially uh, strip her with Martina and uh, and just kind of, you know, just take her out real, real quick, all right? Uh, ooh, can we get a stun right now? Oh, we got the stun. All right, this is it. So, again, we have... We're, we could worry about Chloe, but I don't, even, we're, we're, I don't think we need to worry about Chloe. Let's go ahead. Since we got all these other units done, no, we have to go for one of the ones that are stunned, right? We have to go for one of the ones that are stunned. So let's let's work down Katarina. Let's see what kind of damage she can do here. All right, here we go. 11, 11, so about six, 17, 17,000 total. One was a Magnor defense for 11, which is really not too bad at all. Um, and again, this is not this is not any kind of, you know, no, no attack buff or anything. Wow, can we pull Diva one more time? We did, oh my God, that was like 28. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my god, dude. I swear I need to start like going crazy uh with the light and dark packs or something, man. But I mean that is super strong. Like I thought the twins were good. The light and dark uh twins are freaking OP, man. Okay, let's just keep it going here. Oh my god, the arena. I can't even believe this. Now, this one here, uh I think we still have to put like I was I, I want to find a team that we can do uh we could do Bastet just so we can see even more damage and we can we can even do something like this where we run uh we run the attack buff uh to do it here now here, here's the here's the deal is can i run the attack buff and still get the jump on these people i don't i don't think i can i feel, I feel like tiana's gonna cut through but we'll try it let's see if we can buff it up with this and then we'll try to work in Bastet in another comp right let's see what we can do i think i think we might get the jump i don't i, I think he's in fighter three um so we we should be fine right all right, all right, all right, here we go. We need to strip all this nonsense here. Come on, Martina. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and work on this one. Strip it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. So let's do, well, since Tiana's, you know, Tiana's not gonna have a violent set, right? Let's go ahead and work on Varad. Varad is the one that would, that would violent proc into a freeze, right? Let's take him out here. 12K, but again, we didn't have any ignore defenses, so um yeah nothing we could really do there but let's see if we could try to take out this rena i mean tiana tiana's already locked down right or should we go for bracon let's go for bracon let's go for bracon 
But we didn't. I think we pulled Sheena. We we, we didn't we didn't pull the diva. No, I think we did because we I saw an ignore defense there, right? I have to I have to double check here, but I think we did. What did I just do? Did I not? Did I? I thought I did my second. Did I do my second skill for the stun? Oh my god! I was looking at Rakan and realized why didn't I stun him? Uh, it's it's because it's because uh, it's because he has immunity, right? So again, let's go ahead and uh, try to knock this out. We can steal that buff. All right, we didn't get the stun on her. Uh, but we did get, we did get ourselves, uh, I think one ignore defense, maybe? No. Okay, okay, yeah, there was, there was one ignore defense over there. So again, pretty crazy numbers, lots of multi-hits, lots of chances, obviously 25% chance goes for every single hit, um, which is pretty crazy considering the twins and, and the way that the mechanics work on this one. So, all right, let's take a look at the next one here. Again, I think this one is another one where we're kind of in a position where we need to get the first turn to get the bestet. They're probably going to cut through. Let's let's get the speed lead, and then after this one, we'll just go ahead and stop and just do one with we'll just do one with the uh, bestet, so we can try to get some crazy damage here. So uh, first turn, yes, we can. Let's go ahead and get the defense breaks in. We got one defense break in. Oh, it looks like that unit derp there, so I will gladly take that. Now CR is locked down. Let's go ahead and try to take out this unit here. Wait, wait a second. Come on now. Where, when's Diva going? Okay, okay, okay. So let's see what we can do. Can we get a proc here? 20k, ignore defense. Very nice. Now, here's the deal. The the skill does the ignore defense when it's under inability effect. So we don't have the defense break, but if we get lucky enough to ignore defense, we can probably take this unit out. I don't know if we pull Diva though. Yeah, no, we didn't. We pulled Shayna, unfortunately. So that's okay. We'll go ahead and stun him now. I think we can sneak in a. Let's uh, think can sneak in one more tactic. Here we go. Defense break one time. Oh my God! I ripped the dream. Bastet got me good with that. <laughs> with that glancing. Come on there. Okay, okay. Nice damage. Again, wow. This is super OP. Man. I'll tell you. Like honestly, this makes me want to like mess around with. Uh, I have a second Shayna. Like I want to mess around with like twins. Like. Speed tune twins in arena now like because honestly guys I don't know about you like when it comes to arena like it's super boring like I'm just like I'm just doing it just to clear wings and sometimes I put like an auto team but seeing the RNG of this like uh, Some of these some of these sisters some of these twins is just like it, it's, it's fun. It's fun to watch here. So uh, it kind of wh what what is this? <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness uh yeah, I I don't I don't know what he's doing, but hey, this this apparently apparently they knew that I was getting ready to record, so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some some ignore defense action here. So let's go ahead and grab. Well, I mean, we'll just grab we'll grab this team, right? We'll bring this up, and then we'll take this out. We got our defense break from Shayna, right? We'll find our bestet. So we get the attack buff. And we got the attack lead. We should be doing some crazy damage here. Now, I can't find his Bastet. Where does Bastet go? Let me know if you guys see it. Here we go. All right. There's no way this guy outspeeds. No way. Like, there's there's no way he's sticking anything in. This is literally just for show. He's flexing real hard, right? I want to see max damage here, okay? Let's go ahead. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay because we're stripping. We're stripping with Martina. It's okay. Let's go ahead and strip. Get one. Get one. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. So we did we didn't even land one stun, right? We didn't even land one stun. So what do we do here? Um we're we're literally in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> we're in a whole lot of trouble because we have one stun. Let's go ahead and work this one down. Let's pull this one in. Oh, I saw 36k ignore defense. That's nice. Okay. So I don't even know how we got it in because I did not see the uh I did not see the uh I didn't see the defense break here, but or I didn't see the stun on it, but I guess I missed it. Let's let's try to stun her if we can. Put a defense break on. 15k damage. That is so nice. That uh, Martina. Oh my god. 30 Wait a second. What is going on? They're hitting for 32k and it's not even ignore defense. Who is getting that crazy damage? That is nuts. Holy cow. Okay, let's keep this team going. Let's keep this team going. Because I want to I want to see how many times we can get lucky in proc here, right? Uh, probably gonna outspeed us. Let's see. One more. Okay, yeah. This one, this one I feel confident, okay? Lydia is going to reduce damage, but I can't imagine that Molong outspeeding a, uh, 132 Bastet, right? Not gonna happen. Okay, okay. This is it. Martina, 
do what you do best, strip the will. Oh my God, we didn't even get, we did not even get one stun. So I, again, hold on a second. It, they said, I'm pretty sure I saw ignore defense, either that or that's just Martinez like hitting super hard. Um, was that ignore defense? No, 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 that, that one was that one was weak here. That was not too bad. All right, all right, yeah. Because I'm, I'm trying to look closely here, and I'm like, I see the crazy damage, and I'm like, wait, how can that happen if it's not an ability effect? <laughs> what happened? Oh, no. Oh, no, rest in peace. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and end it here. No, we can't. We can't leave on that. Like, we got to get redemption right now. Ground King is not going to do us dirty like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do it again. Um, but this time, let's strip the will and let's just take her out right right away here. Okay, let's do it. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to focus her down. Multiple chances to try to strip that will. Not one. Not one time. Holy cow. There we go. There we go. Now, let's just take her out right here. There it is. Let's see some ignore defense. No ignore defense because we didn't have any stun. That's correct, right? So unfortunately, ooh, let's we can strip we can strip Molong and possibly stun. Yeah, no, no, we can't stun, but it's okay. You can wreck this assault Shana all day. We don't even care about Shana. We just we just want the light and dark twins here. Let's put some defense breaks in. He's gonna hit her, but that's okay. He didn't use your second skill, so I feel pretty good about that. I think we can one shot this Molong right now. Oh wow, we could one shot. OBS, did you have the critical rate on these units? What's going on here? I, I don't know what's up with that. We missed it. 40k damage. Whoa. We did not even have it. Did you guys see that? 40k damage. 40k damage and no stun. What is going on here? That is some crazy damage. I gotta, like, now I wanna research and see what kind of multipliers they got on these units here. That is nuts. Wow. <laughs> What is going on? All right, guys. All right, let's go ahead and finish this one off here, and let's see. Let's just take a look real quick and see what he where he's sitting at again with the stats here, because that's that's some godly damage here. Like, oh, uh, now I'm seriously salty for every single person that has any of these uh, light and dark twins here. So okay, I mean he doesn't even have skill ups. Uh, I mean let's take a look at his runes. Like he's running attack or damage. I mean this is. This is a fairly decent set. 2k attack. I mean, 188 critical damage. Like, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. No no accuracy, but who needs accuracy when you're OP like this? You just keep on... I mean, he was landing debuffs like a champ, right? Uh, Martina. Martina sitting... I mean, Martina has another good set as well. I mean, that's a lot of damage right there. Um, that's a nice uh, high damage violence set there. So, uh, yeah. Over what? 2100 attack and 166 damage? That's so crazy, though. I mean, I gotta look at it... I gotta look at it again. Okay, so this is what's going on. This is what's going on. I guess I didn't look at it clearly enough, right? The damage will be increased by 50% each. What, like, yeah. Steals one beneficial effect. It will be increased by 50 for each up to three times when this effect occurs. So if you steal beneficial effect, then you will have the damage increase. So the damage increase on top of the attack buff, on top of, uh, on top of the passive that, you know, potentially could do the ignore defense. Like, that's that's where all these damage multipliers are coming into play. So, uh, for anybody, for, for the three people out there uh, that actually got uh, these units here and have been messing around with, I need you to, I need you to take this time uh, to actually break away from just watching the video and, and, and put a comment in the chat here. Or maybe some of you guys that have seen, like, posts on Reddit, what is the highest number of damage you've seen done it, uh, on one of these twins in the arena, man. I really want to know because that's that's pretty nuts there what kind of damage we do. But um, that's going to be it, guys. Again, OBS, uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for allowing us to do the... Uh, uh, to, I almost said to do the summons because we always do summons on discount. Uh, thank you for allowing me to do the showcase, guys. As always, if you ever have a unit that you... Uh, you know, is super rare and you want to go ahead and have a showcase, you know, shoot me an email. Childish402 at gmail.com. As you guys can see, he does have a couple of other units here that are super rare. Um, if you guys are interested in checking those out and possibly doing another arena video, let me know. I'll connect with them back again and we'll do another video for you guys, okay? That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish with Childish Plays checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next one. I'm out.